when it comes to football in Nigeria. It's uh, that particular sport is a sport that a lot of Nigeria really love, and we want to see the best of it coming. Uh, welcome you on the show, 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. We'll be starting on that particular. Uh, intro that has to do with we must support Guso's vision to reposition Nigerian football coming from Shuaibo. Uh, Shuaibo is the deputy governor of Edo State and right now he's saying well do everything possible to make sure we support uh, Ibrahim Guso is an NFL president and from the way they've seen his uh, plan concerning Nigerian football development we need to support him in every area that he needs that support. Well, to let you know that Shwaibu is also a part of the Players' Union, and the news coming out is the fact that the Players' Union will be meeting with the NFF uh, to see how they can settle all the problems or discord they have for a while. That would be a nice one, because for a while now, Nigerian Players' Union, the Year Football Federation, they be at loggerheads, and now that will be settled. And if they, by the time they meet, and at least uh, that will be going well, because uh, we really need to get our football back to that mainstream where it's supposed to be. Look at us at the CAF Champions League, CAF Confederation, uh, looking at us at even the AFCON, looking at us at the World Cup, uh, either qualifier or the main competition. It has not been an easy ride. Look at our women football. The ladies of other countries are really catching up. Uh, seriously running after Nigeria, and in fact, some are even outsmarting us when it comes to the last uh, women outcome there, African Women Cup of Nations that took place in Morocco. We saw what they did, the Champions League, we saw what they did, and in fact, uh, really, we need to get our football back to that top level where you mentioned Nigeria, the fear of playing against Super Falcons, Super Eagles, not forgetting the Flamingos, the Falconet, uh, the uh, uh, Flying Eagles, and the Golden Eaglets are just the beginning of wisdom. But right now, it's no longer business as usual because most nations have really caught up with us. I have in the studio Noel Samson uh, joining me to take that first story. Well, we must support Guzo's vision. That's the story coming from Edo State, Deputy Governor uh, Shoaibu there saying, well, uh, let's make sure we uh, allow this man work. Whatever he wants to do, let's see his plan and let's support him. Yeah, um, you know, he's a, a new president now, actually, so he has his own visions and his own uh, things he, he plans to do when he gets to power. So, and he cannot do it alone except people support him, except he has the support of the whole federation. Now. So, the whole Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. So, we need to get the football, our football, the football, yes, and Nigeria football to a level where, where, you, where you hear Nigeria. In the football, you have to be scared. Mm. I know when I was quite quite young, I was quite very young then. When my oh, my yeah. dad, <laughs> <laughs> my dad, because we, I grew up actually in the, in the, in the staff quarter. So mm. when Nigeria is Nigeria is playing, uh, we are playing football. There's of Kanu then or Kocha. You can see how the whole parlor is filled up with different people, students coming and who teachers coming. Watch. Yes. So and you can see when when I was when I was arriving in my GS class, when year Nigeria play football again. We have to be running home, fall on the ground to make sure you want to go and watch the game. But now, is that passion no longer there for us? Where you want? Some, sometimes Nigeria won't play football. We don't even know. We the fans don't even know that Nigeria, that the Super Eagles are even playing a particular match. Because when you go, you watch the game, you just get up being disappointed. You just get up being irritated with the, the performance and everything. So we have to take it back to that time. Including the, the I think only the ladies are quite the ones we are quite very proud of. Very and then the junior ones. Yes. So, so when it comes the, to the under sixteen. But when it comes, I don't know when it comes to that super, the men, especially the, uh, the men, when it comes to that super level aspect, it's really... The some, super egos. Yes. But when, the ladies are trying their best. At least now, it seems in Africa, we are the... In, the Africa, we, we, own, we own the highest uh, African of nations when it comes to the ladies. Mm. Um, so we are the best. In, uh, when we, other things, we are trying to look at the flamingos when they did in, uh, the, in India, where they played, the way they came out as taught. So, mm. But the men, that super ego, that, that, I don't know that. I don't know if it's corruption or... Favoriting with the team, or they just need to get everything right. Maybe you need to make that team being fed. Mm. Maybe you hear the name Nigeria, you be. I'm sure now when you want to play Nigeria, now you say, okay, as usual, we do we'll be there. Mm. I don't even understand. So we just have to make that uh, that super egos being strong the way it's supposed to be. Like that time when I was quite very young, where everybody wants to watch. I think my dad stopped watching super egos because of the disappointment they've given to him. He said, I cannot die because of attention. <laughs> so he stopped watching. So. I, I, I want that spirit where my dad can also say, yeah, so I want to play, but I want to watch. Mm. I want it to get to that extent. Well, because that's how you can see, most of the older generation, I'm not sure most of the young generations are not even support of Super Eagles. The ones that are those the older generation, because I don't think I see a, a, a young the, the, man. The young guy is no longer there. Yeah, yeah, you, can never see, you cannot see a young man like me now 
saying that you want to play ball and the clubs are going to play ball, you now leave the club side for Nigeria. No, you don't watch the club side and leave Nigeria match. That's mm. how it is. How worse it has been. That yes. Actually, actually those old men you can see that they still have the hope that okay, Maybe they will perform. Yes, that you still go go to ball houses. You see, check this over, you see, you actually see Nigeria play man, you see young guys they it be hard. But oh, super easy. Yeah, but you see you already see those those men of 60, 50, they are the one there. Even at the even at qualifier levels, that's how it is, how bad it is. So even if you can actually shape everything to make everything quite uh, juicy the way it's to be before, I think it's going to be good for the country. Good one coming from Noel Samson there to let you know that we need to start with our league first. We need to run our league very, very good if we have to get the best of the best player because right now it seems uh, uh, the way we run our league is not even too good as a bedrock of our football is being built or managed. Uh, or rather see how we actually plan our football uh, master plan out. We need to go back to the grassroots. How do we do that? Making sure, yes, uh, the league is on TV for people to see. Uh, re re referees will be there to refer well because he knows that they are watching and also the players will be happy that their skills or all their effort is being appreciated and also allowing issue of favoritism to enter the issue of uh, coaches or players being picked for national teams. All those should be washed out and we look at uh, a lot of uh, issues also that we won't be able to mention but really our football needs to come back to that limelight it used to be gone are those days where we have nigeria as a country as a team rather when they are playing any nation you have that fear that yes they are playing against one of the best team in the world but right now reverse is the case in fact we've seen what happened even to our women football where they were the dominant force for a while but right now it's catching up on us and really they are struggling. Well, for the junior class of football in Nigeria, we are still trying. They are talking about Golden Eagles, Flying Eagles, and not forgetting uh, Far Connect. They are trying their best, but really, we need to get it right. And that's why Shuaibu is calling on Nigerians to give necessary support to Ibrahim Guso, who is right, who right now is the NFL president. And let's see what he'll be offering and see our football getting to the best it used to be. Well, let's leave Nigerian football alone now. Let's talk about FIFA at the World Cup over there in Qatar. It has been an issue of shocking moment or thereabout. But right now, uh, Uruguay, for what they did in that match after they lost out, crashed out, they played against Ghana, and it was a match that saw a lot of uh, high tension. FIFA opens disciplinary proceedings against Uruguay. Why? Four of their players, the likes of Cavani, Golden, uh, they actually, uh, the way they behaved in that game was not welcomed by FIFA. Uh, for the fact that uh, they were really poking a lot of uh, issues of fun at the, uh, the, the center ref, nearly. In fact, the man had to run after the match ended at uh, the dugout because he was uh, really uh, afraid. But really, uh, I didn't expect this from Uruguay. The, the, the match has been uh, lost. Forget about the fact that they defeated Ghana. You know, they were hoping that they would, make, they would score yeah, through. Exactly. By the time they heard the results from the other side, they were dumbfounded and uh, really this I, I saw Cavani, I saw that video where he hit the VAR, the VAR fell. Cavani a decent hit that. I saw how Golden and uh, the two others were trying to the way they were rushing the ref, the way they were talking and what they, 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 uh, the the way they actually took this uh, scenario it was not uh, the best. I want to understand something. Is it that if they won if they had, if they had won Ghana like four goals, mm. they would qualify? Maybe they expect at least they were, you know, they were they actually scored two goals. Yeah, but I don't that, I, thinking that they've qualified. So why are they not angry? The, the, the major reason is not even about that. What got them angry was the fact that you know they're supposed to get a, a penalty. Okay. And it wasn't it wasn't given. It okay. was uh -huh. okay. So that got them angry that oh, if uh, maybe if you have scored this goal, you will have, yes, they will have scaled through, and that never happened. So they got angry with the uh, centre ref, and really they nearly beat that man up. But even if, if the, I'm not even understand because why these players are professional. If amateurs, uh, amateurs could be even uh, be even like this, I would say probably because they are just mm -hmm. about, maybe emotions actually. Probably you like the love of Cavani. Em emotions over. over <laughs> you have overrun. to just keep emotions one side sometimes mm. because now they are going to face this probably, uh, this, um, some. Uh, we have ten days to appeal uh, that particular. Uh, uh, disciplinary proceeding coming from FIFA. They have 10 days now, in fact, two days off from it. But really, uh, just take a look at this particular uh, picture. Look at the ref, look at how all of them, look at the finger, look at. Do you can I, imagine you, what that player was saying. You it, can might imagine, started, it might be insulting the ref. Yes. You can imagine the pictures can actually speak. The, these pictures are speaking. Look at Cavani, look at the way he was yelling, even though 
<laughs> it's obvious that they were really at the ref. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about them. Probably, they, it seems the Uruguayans normally are people that are actually hot tempered. They can leave mm -hmm. of uh, Suarez when he was at Liverpool. Suarez was out, outside. Yeah. You know, that, at that time, he was crying because already he knew what had happened. <laughs> he was just crying. Uh, looking at uh, his teammate, that, and I never know within the. <laughs> <laughs> they should be they should be dealt with actually. As at that sure. moment, you know the, the kind of you know at times when, when you are when you when you look at Africa, our languages, yes. our dialect, our own coin language can be more kind of uh, better expressible uh, the way you use it to say some things. Yes. For example, now from the graph we just saw, Suarez was on the dugout crying his <laughs> eyes out. Uh, uh, then his teammates were there fighting for fighting what? the river. <laughs> and I'm sure if you want to use speaking to say that, it'll be like, I never know scores. Show that the wine me. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's the way to go? Well, for Uruguay, they need to get their acts together. That wasn't good enough coming from the players like Cavani, Diego Golding, and all of them with their experience as professional footballers. Uh, yes, uh, we know that emotions can actually come in at times and it makes you to do some things that you don't want to do. We've seen that uh, in Ronaldo, yes. uh, how he reacted when he was pulled out. And that has actually, although maybe the yeah, coach was saying that's not the e case, they just wanted to uh, yes, keep him. It was a uh, game, uh, 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 keep gimmick. Him, keep but really, we know that the man wasn't happy with the way Ronaldo reacted. I don't know why Ronaldo keeps reacting like that. I don't know. He's no longer 20 years it's, old. You are 30, now 37. 37. And you'll be able to see you're a teenager. Maybe. You, can't, you cannot be... As a be, captain, he wants to be there. You cannot be... The, the strength you cannot be there like before. You mm. have to do... He needs to know that he's getting old, not getting younger. That is also what he needs to do. He needs to know that, okay, well, the way I play, I cannot play. Now, Ronaldo, the way we know of 10 years ago, for you to... If Ronaldo is in, the, in, your, in your team, for you to do a match in your team, then... You know it's really it's really tough for you to lose a match. But now the strength is not there again. You cannot expect, you cannot go off and front. You cannot run around again. So you should you need to know that let these younger boys let them come up. And see that's what he just probably doesn't want. And look at what did Ramos you? did yesterday. He was able to score a hard trick. And the guy you can imagine. Can, I'm sure if Ronaldo played that, probably they, they will have bench him. Ronaldo will be at the up front. Run yes. Probably could have struggled. They could have struggled yeah. to win the struggling to win the match. But you can see, he was, I like what the coach did because he was like, okay, even without you, we can still perform. No, uh, maybe not like the way you are doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're like, okay, because I, I saw the interview where he said, I spoke with him and I let him understand why he would be on the bench. Although you don't see human's heart. So yes, you don't know yes, what is yes, yeah, yes, Maybe yes. like, I go show you, say, I'm the coach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but really, but really, emotions can actually at least uh, crave in at times and it will make, uh, get the better side of you. Talking about Uruguay players uh, for what they did after that match against Ghana and also for Ronaldo. Well, uh, he wants to do the best for his country, but right now, that might not be the best. Well, let's leave you uh, the FIFA World Cup and talk about women football. Yes, the Champions League for women is ongoing. Right? Let's look at uh, matches that will be played. Uh, well, let's look at women Champions League fixtures. We have uh, 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 talking about, well, maybe we just swap it. This is uh, the FA Women's League fix, uh, fixtures now. Manchester United women against Everton women. This is England. Sheffield United women will be playing against Aston Villa. And while Liverpool will be facing Manchester City. These are the matches for uh, the women in the uh, their own league in England. Before we go to Champions League, uh, Manchester United will be facing Everton. If what if you have to combat him to men, you know what to say. But these are women. <laughs> but really, fantastic footballers. The way they play football right now, in in fact, the women football I'm saying, uh, is getting to that level whereby in the next ten, five, ten years, I, are you sure the women team will not be beating? Uh, will, if, I'm, if, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you keep do some the, some women team and some men team to play together, they will deal with the women team. The because, men's team. Yes, because if you think, if you see the way they, this the guy, pace, the style, you'll be surprised. The is, is, this, is this a lady? Look at how they are built. Look at, look at the way they play. Football. Look at the bicep, at times, everything. At times when you are watching the women football, you'll be like, wait, wait. Now, who made they play? If the camera is far away, you, uh, you are now, okay, okay. Uh, maybe you follow the jersey, but by the time they zoom the camera, you see a the lady with, uh, these are really, women. The speed at which they move. You can see, there was one I even watched. You see the shot this lady took. Oh, that. Is it that I, I was, it was it remember the likes of Gerard and um, Lampard when they're playing this? Hmm. And she's covered the shots. So you can imagine the way they play and the, the crowds now you had in Guinness Stadium. You have like 10,000 watching their matches hmm. in, their, in their stadiums now. It's quite surprising. And they're having more sponsors now. 
So uh, the next ten years is be something different. Women football are really evolved. Uh, the evolution concerning women football right now worldwide is really increased. You go to the stadium, you see fully packed yes. stadium. They want to come and watch women. And football. you can see their fellow men. Uh, the, for instance, now there was one of the Chelsea's uh, game I watched where. Uh, Reece, you know Reece James' uh, sister, mm. Laura yes. James, she plays for Chelsea. He was there with some of his friends. To watch the to sister. Watch, yeah, to watch the sister play. You can see, so the men's team are really now supporting the, women. the women's team. And also look at too. just like USA now, they have uh, that man, okay, we'll be play, paying whatever we are paying our men, yes. that's what we pay our women. Yes. So actually, it gives them more, more morale to play better, mm. more ginger to play. So it's actually a very good one. A good one there. Manchester United women versus Everton. Well, that will be at Old Trafford. Sheffield United women will be playing against Aston Villa. A tough one there. Why Manchester City will have to travel to Liverpool. Uh, they will be playing right now. They will be against uh, Liverpool women. Tough one there. Uh, well, from the way it is, you just have to give it up to all the women playing football. It's not easy, but you have to appreciate what they are doing. They've really evolved and they are doing so well. Crossing over to the Women's Champions League uh, fixtures that will also be coming up uh, quickly. Let's uh, look at Lyon Feminines against Zurich Women, Juventus Feminine against Arsenal Women, Rosengard will be at home against Benfica from Portugal. You have uh, Bayern Munich ladies will be at home against Barcelona Feminine. No, Asisa Oshuala uh, should be in that squad tonight as they'll be facing Bayern Munich ladies so far the Barcelona team they are defending champion women champions league in yeah. Europe and we've seen what they've done uh, Putea, so, uh, Shuala, and the entire squad uh, what they will be doing tonight against Bayern Munich ladies it's possible that Shuala could be scoring yeah she's always, she has always disappointed the Nigerians anywhere she has been quite fantastic everything Arsenal, Liverpool, yeah, yes went to China uh, before going China, back before now to Barcelona, Barcelona. Yeah, she has been really consistent uh, which is something I really like about her and it seems we have a, we are some of our female like it seems like occupy that leon feminine mm. seems uh, she's a she's a nigerian or, yeah no we have seems to have a nigeria goalkeeper yeah leon? Or, is that a goalkeeper or a player but it seems to have uh, a, no that's uh that's, that's psg uh, sorry paris paris fc okay but, have, uh, but, our own but it seems to have a player there at leon also uh, probably i can't really pick point it but it's a very good one these are matches when you watch you won't regret watching the matches you'll be surprised how this Ladies play football. You can see the the pace. Like how we said, the pace, the the dribbling skills, the strength they possess. You can look see them. This. Just take a look <sighs> at the picture. The, the strength these ladies. Look at look at look at how no. Even some men don't have this kind of uh, fitness. Seriously, I, I mean, I'm really impressed with women football. The way it has evolved. The way they keep fit. The way they they are so agile. The agility they have. The play strength. 90 minutes and you see them. Ah, it's really it's really it's, it's really good one for them. You can see how strong they are. Uh, women football has come to stay and it's really getting better every day. When it comes to Champions League, Edda Egbert uh, has really done well for herself. And you look at Olympic Lyon uh, for the men, well, the uh, women are really doing well. Talking about Champions League, uh, when you have Zuri women, they'll be facing the uh, Swiss uh, team there. Arsenal, we're playing against Juventus women. Rosengard versus Benfica, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich, ladies. Those fixtures are coming up, and it's going to be a tough one. And if you come to Nigeria, yes, you come to Nigerian football. You're talking about women now, just yes. like we, we we said in the morning. Those matches are on right now. Talking about the women football league, where at least six matches, three. Uh, in the group A, three in group B, uh, really uh, right now ongoing. In fact, they are really fighting here to see who wins, who stays. But re uh, I love the fact that even our own league here is also improving. Yes, very, very much well improved because you look at the way the ladies are playing six, seven years ago. It was, the way they are playing yeah, now in our own different. league is quite different. You can, I'm not sure if you have watched, uh, I've, I've opportunity to watch one of those uh, women play football before in the uh, Nigeria League. And from the first half to the last, and from the first minute to the last minute, it wasn't boring at all. It was quite, as in you can see how these guys, these girls were playing everything. In fact, if, in, it seems in the whole world presently now, the female football is now taking a new dimension, a new level. It has changed drastically. And it's similar to the Nigeria, uh, Nigeria female team again, and the league we are playing also too. If you, get, if you have the time to watch their league, you'll be surprised that ah, these Nigerian women are also playing the leagues. And you can see the very young ladies, not as when you used to have maybe probably old ladies. 
These are very young girls in their tw early 20s. Some are even teenagers playing. 17, 18. Yes. I saw Nigeria Tess players. These are very young uh, uh, girls that when you even see, you know, at times when, at times when you see the face of people, be like, oh, this is old. Yeah. But really, they are very, very young. young. Very, very young ladies. You see that, you know that these are, these are very the, young. The, the, the uh, flamingos that went to India, uh, yes. we saw them. We saw the Falcons uh, to Costa Rica, how they played and for majority of them from Nigerian League. Yes. There's only maybe Super Falcons that you have most of them yeah, playing yeah, outside. Broad, yeah. Majority of the, uh, the uh, Falconet Flamingos were picked from Nigerian Women Football League. So it gave me to surprise that, okay, it means now parents are not letting, letting their female folks to play, play football. Yeah, because, those days when like, yeah. no, what are you doing there? It's not for women. Even those days, even it was, it, I, think, I think now, when I was quite young, if I want to go and play football, my dad had to deal with me that, why are you going to play football? That's it for a man. Yeah, you know the girl, the, the girl now. Even now, you can see where parents now buy boots for their, for their sons. Yeah, go and play ball. Good one. And it's then. not happening to ladies also now, too. Good one, really. A lot of people have seen that there's uh, money in sports. Sport is really a business, as we always say, uh, the slogan. Uh, before we go, let's take two, these two transfers. So this Fanabasi, uh, monitoring Slavia, Prague striker, Peter Olayinka, a striker with uh, Slavia, uh, Prague over there in Czech Republic. And right now, Fanabasi of Turkey wants to get uh, Olayinka uh, for themselves. Uh, that would be a good one. If you can move to Fanabasi, at least he'll be playing Champions League. I will enjoy, although he's been playing for Slavia, Prague, and that will be adding more sparks to his uh, performance. Real Madrid are closing in on Hendrik and renegotiation uh, with Palmeiras on his 72 million euros deal. They want to get the Brazilian. Uh, in fact, they flew the parents of this young lad to uh, Spain for them to see that they, they are really serious. And now Palmeiras and Real Madrid are closing in to see how they can get the younger uh, Hendrik to join the Los Merengues uh, for 72 million euros. What a deal. And that fantastic player will be another added uh, advantage to the Galacticos. Well, that will be it on 360 Sports. Thank you very much, Neil Samson. The pleasure is my Mr. Adeneyi. I am Adeneyi Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.